the most explosive Yu-Gi-Oh deck for the 2020 format. Guys, to be honest, I don't think I actually did a video on this deck ever because I actually never really had the time to properly play this deck, but for weeks, weeks, okay, I've been testing this deck on YGO Pro, EDO Pro, and it's been giving me a lot of success, and not only that, the deck is super duper fun to play with. It has so many two to three card combos going the deck. The deck is very versatile. It can lock your opponent from the extra deck. It can put up 10, 17,000 negates. It can break your opponent's boards by popping multiple cards on the field. The deck is just very, very insane. And it just utilizes the synchro mechanic, the pendulum mechanic, every mechanic in you, the fusion mechanic, every mechanic in Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, so this deck is gonna be super duper awesome. If you guys have not yet checked out this deck profile, make sure you guys check it out. Hit the link in the description box below. That'll be absolutely amazing. And you know what, guys? You guys are going to see for yourself how crazy this deck is for the 2020 format. All right, guys. For those of you here on the channel for the very first time, my name is Sam from Team Samurai X1. What's going on? Consider on hitting the subscribe button and make sure you guys turn the notification bell to get notified each time I upload videos. They'll be absolutely amazing. All right, guys. And as always, if you guys want to see more videos like these, make sure you guys go there right now and smash that thumbs up button. They'll be absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys. Don't waste any more of your time. Without further ado, let's get started with the most explosive Yu-Gi-Oh deck for the 2020 format. All right, guys. Let's do it. You know what, since a lot of you guys complain since I take forever to do my rock, paper, scissors, I'm gonna just go right into it. There you go, I'm gonna go first. And I'm gonna talk to you guys as I go with the combos. And I'll just explain to you guys what I'm doing. That I feel really bad for my opponent right here, Ruffles. Is that chips? It kind of sounded like Ruggles for a sec. But anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna go right into uh, you know making the combos. Today video, we're talking about DDDs. If you guys have not seen the DDD deck profile, make sure you guys check it out. Hit the link in the description box below. DDD Dave goes in depth about this deck. And ever since uh, you know DDD Dave showed me this deck, I was like, you know what? I gotta play test this deck a little bit further. And I'm with you guys right now. This deck is actually really, really fun, and it's also really, really explosive. My hand right now looks like it is full combo with Kepler Sw Swirl and Lamia earlier. I had Kepler and Swirl, which is still full combo uh, with uh, the Union Carrier Lock and Siegfried. That would have been really, really good as well. Right now, I, I got two Call by the Graves in my hand, so my chances of my combos going through is really, really high. So we're gonna go Kepler. Hack me Kepler's effect to add, of course. We're gonna add Contract to the Gate and directly from our deck to our hand. Then we're gonna activate Gates. So we're gonna add Necro Slime directly from our deck to our hand. And what's gonna happen at this point is that we are going to activate Swirl Slime. So activate Swirl Slime uh, to summon into, of course, this Small Genghis. So using Swirl and also Necro, summon the Small Genghis. Now what's gonna happen is that we're gonna activate Swirl Slime's effect. Banish Swirl from the Graveyard to special and of course, DD Lamia to our side of the field. So we're summoning DD Lamia. Once Lamia is special, we're gonna activate Genghis' ability to revive back the Necro Slime that's in our graveyard. Using Lamia and also Genghis, we're gonna make our DDD High King Alexander. And if you guys did not notice, all of the DDD monsters are really unique because they are like, they kind of remind you of like these old school, how do I say it? These like, no, not historians. I, I suck with history, but I don't know where Genghis is from, but King Alexander, there is also King Caesar, there's also, like, you guys know what I mean, right? So this per, uh, there's uh, Thomas, DDD Sam and Thomas, like that's like kind of reminds you of Thomas Edison. You guys get it. They're basically like So now we're gonna use Alexander and Necro Slime to make, of course, DDD Sam and Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep is literally a DDD card. Now we're gonna activate Necro Slime. Okay, banish, of course, uh, especially on the big Genghis. So we're especially on the big Genghis by banishing the small Genghis and Necro. Summon the big Genghis. Make sure you summon it to Cross Sheep Zone. Cross Sheep is not gonna trigger its effect to revive back, of course, Lamia that's in our graveyard. Once Lamia has revived back, Big Genghis is gonna get its ability to special him back Alexander directly from our grave. So we're special, of course, Alexander using Lamia, and of course, High Genghis. We are going to make Christron Hack of Fibrax. Hack to be a Hack of Fibrax effect. We're gonna special him, of course, DD Ghost. So now we're, of course, gonna activate DD High King Alexander's ability. Special him, of course, Lamia back from our graveyard. And now this is gonna be very awesome because we are gonna make Crystal Wing. Time is running out, so I'm trying my best to. Uh, go through this combo in a timely manner using Kepler and also DD Ghost. We are going to special the big boy himself card that's just been released off Dual Overload. Dual Overload just takes, just gives so much value 
to DDDs because of the brand new support cards that we get. Kyogre Mesh Chainlink 1, Ghost Chainlink 2. Ghost is gonna target Lamia. Kyogre Mesh is gonna be able to send Apocalypse and also Abyss King Ragnarok to our scale. Apocalypse ability, we're gonna banish, uh, you know, we can banish Ghost and also the Big Genghis to smash an Apocalypse from our scale. We're not gonna trigger off Ragnarok just yet. We're just gonna activate Ghost to put back the small Genghis to our graveyard. And now what's gonna happen is that we're gonna use Lamia's effect, activate Lamia. We are gonna send the Gilgamesh that's on our field to the graveyard to special in Lamia right here. And it's really important to special in Lamia under Cross Sheep zone right here. So that way we can trigger off Ragnarok's ability to special one of course Genghis to the zone that Cross Sheep points to. So this is our whole entire board setup right now. We are gonna end off with of course by using Apocalypse and Lamia to make Siegfried. And now we're gonna set our two call by the graves that we drew, one off for lore. And now we're just gonna end our turn. So this board doesn't look as strong, but you guys will see in a second how crazy this thing is because of Christian Hacker Fibrax and also DD Cross Sheep right here. So now we're just gonna go into our end phase. This is our end board right here. Okay, very awesome. And let me explain to you guys what this end board does right now. So we have Cross Sheep that's pointing to DD Flame King Genghis. So what's gonna happen is that if you guys did not know, Cross Sheep has the ability, if a monster is special summoned to a zone this card points to, you can apply the following effects in sequence based on the card types of the monster this card points to. So let's say you special summon any monster, you know, to the zone that Cross Sheep points to. It doesn't have to be necessarily a fusion monster. As long as you have a fusion monster that's already in his zone, it's going to be able to trigger off its effect in sequence. So as long as you have Genghis in his zone, if you special summon, let's say, you tag out with Needle Fiber uh, to summon Formula, Cross Sheep will be able to special summon a monster from the graveyard because you have Genghis already in Cross Sheep zone. So not a lot of people know that. A lot of people think that Cross Sheep only special summons when it's fusion monster you special summon. That's the that's that's the only way to apply its effect. No, that's not it. Okay? So that's what's wonderful about Genghis. Okay, Genghis is insane. Very insane. What do you say? Can you hurry up? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Honestly, this is what happens when I explain too much. Obviously, he goes desires. We're gonna go Siegfried in the gate. I'm so sorry, guys. Please excuse me, man. Please excuse me. Okay. And the main face. Oh my god. Did he just bait me with desires? And the main face. Oh my god. I can't needle fiber in battle face. Oh my god, I can't even formula in battle face. Oh my god! Oh my god! I literally lose to... I literally lose to Evenly right now. But you know what? This is the best I can do. I, I have to. I'm forced to make Savage. Usually I'm supposed to make Satellite Warrior first before I make Savage, but damn. That sucks. Yep. Yep, we're gonna chain formula as well. I am forced to make Savage, guys. That evenly match would have killed me. Okay, so you go Swap Frog. Obviously, I'm not gonna Savage the game. He's trying to go Battle Phase. Paleo, but with Evilly in the main deck. Paleo with Evilly. Frogs with Evilly in the main deck? I would have pursued in the game, that. Let's see if he still attempts to enter battle here. Wow! 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 Jabated, bro! Jabated, wow! Jabated. Good play, Ruffles. What? What? That's fine. I don't care about that. Jabated. I got baited bad. Super bad. Super bad. Super bad. Wow. This guy literally baited me like crazy. This guy literally baited me like Wow, that's good. I literally lose to Strike Mirror Force right now. Strike Mirror Force, I lose. I have to I have Ghosts. I, have, I also have Lamia as well. I'm pretty much lit, bro. 
I am super lit. Okay, I can just... Crystal Wing doesn't matter to me. Yeah, Strike Mirror Force, I literally lose. We're gonna go... Uh, Savage using Crystal Wing. I, I can sacrifice Crystal Wing. Let's chain block. Let's chain block so you can't strike my warrior. One, two, three. Pop these two. Oh, there you go. Okay, so it wasn't strike. Someone seek free the gate that. And he also bring, can bring him back Oleanoids from the grave. Dinomiscus as well. Yeah, wow. Oh my goodness. That bait with the evenly, man. That was crazy. Oh my goodness. Good plays, man. Good plays. Oh, that scared me, bro. That evenly would have. It was. Honestly, I was supposed to make Warrior then. Uh, then Savage. But unfortunately, that, that, that didn't happen. But hey, it's still game right here. This is over a billion gazillion damage. Wow. Oh my god. Good play on him. This guy baited me. Desires then enter battle phase. That can actually mess up a lot of plays, guys. That like that whole entire strategy with entering battle phase evenly. Oh my god. It's just I remember back in the striker format where people would set like five of strikers and I'll go like enter battle phase. And they're forced to use like anchor, 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 so they can reset it back multi-roll. But then you didn't really have evenly match, right? So Man, that was a, definitely a good bait. He was playing Paleos. I've been seeing a lot of Paleos running around lately uh, on YGO Pro for sure because, you know, Master Rule 5. Um, you know, Toads are still playable. You know, even Toad is at 1. But, man, Trap Decks, man, that scared me for a bit. That's That got me on my feet there for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if I took a little bit too, too long. Ruffles, if you're watching this video, man. This is it. The most explosive deck for the 2020 format. When it comes to combo-oriented decks, I think DDDs have one of the highest potential and highest ceilings. Like any other combo deck, even with heroes and, you know, this deck, like, this deck automatically loses to Nibiru. Nibiru shouldn't be a reason for you not to pick up this deck, right? Like, I don't want to play a trap deck because I lose the evenly match. Well, post siding, you have cards like Prohibition to play against the Biru and things like that, right? So, you know, aside from the Biru, if you just deck doesn't get the Biru, it can, it's very explosive. It can do stuff like this. And it's actually pretty crazy. Deck is actually very versatile. Uh, there's a lot of two, three card combos you can do with this deck. Three cards you can end off with things like this. If you guys haven't seen this deck profile, make sure you guys check it out in the link in the description box below. DDD Dave does a good job explaining the combos and their entire deck profile for you guys. So make sure you guys check it out in the link in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. Alright guys, peace.